How's it going, Dave from Comic Book Investments? So in this video, we're gonna look at five keys that are dropping in price and dropping a lot. Like probably the biggest I've ever seen, 90, 93%, 93%. I, I don't think I've ever seen anything that big of a drop. Wow. Uh, but before I do, if you wanna win this comic book right here, this Spider-Man 252 in a 9-2, head over to my website, collectorscomics.com. All you have to do is hit enter in the giveaway. That's all you gotta do. Should be a pop-up, if not, it's down below. It's called giveaways. Put in your email, that's all you gotta do. You have to have an account, so you have to put in your email. You Make sure you put in a real email because we're gonna use that one to contact you. And we also have an auction going on. It's our biggest auction we've ever had. We have like over 1,600 uh, items in there, mostly CGC graded comic books, some CBCS, and some ungraded raw comic books. And we also have 120 signature series. So if you're into signatures, tons and tons of signature stuff on all si sorts of like really, really good books. All right, let's get right into it. All right, Naomi number one, a 9.4 is down 84% from 152 to $25. A 9.6 is down 70% from 185 to 56, and a 9.8 is down 93%. From peaking back in 2019, when this book was released for 588, now one just sold for $40. To be honest, I had no idea who this was. Never even heard of this book, never heard of the, anything about this character or nothing. Um, so I had to look it up. Apparently, they had a TV show. That's probably why this book started blowing up. Uh, the TV show, was canceled, they did one season, and I think it came out around 2021. So it was probably announced, which makes no sense. How is a book come out with just one issue, it pretty much came out like right out of the gate, came out and it was announced that they're turning it into a movie or something. I'm like, how does that happen? Shouldn't they see how the book does first? So maybe this was a DCCW tie-in where they're like, hey, we wanna make a movie about this, can you release the comic book first and then we'll work on the movie? Maybe, I mean, they did that stuff before, like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, they made a cartoon to promote the uh, toys, even though the comic book came out before. But they've done stuff like that in where they want to sell toys, so they'll come out with a cartoon and a comic book. Star Wars, they came out with the comic book first before the movie was actually released as a way to market things, so maybe it was something like that. But here's the thing, it was on CW, so you know it's gonna be garbage, and that's why it was canceled. And so I, someone asked about this, I had no idea what it was at all, and that should say something. If I don't even know what it is, then you should probably not get it. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, this is just 93%. Also, what's interesting to know about this one is a 9.8 sold for $40, and a 9.6 sold for $56 recently. That's probably because the 9.8 was maybe an auction or who knows, I don't know. And then the 9.6 was probably like a buy it now or it's all around that $40, $50, that's gonna be case cost. So that's basically what it costs to send a single book to get graded with shipping there and back and all insurance and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, that's why I say case cost is around $50 for a book if you're sending just one book. So regardless, it's all around case cost. Um, you know, this is not an investable book whatsoever at all. Not even close. Uh, I mean, they canceled the TV show. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I just, it's just crazy. 93%. It's, I don't know why someone would pay 588. And that's another thing is you have to learn from this is right out of the gate. Like you can see on the graph that it kind of got a little bump uh, near like 2021, probably because that's when the show was actually on air. But again, it takes years to make these shows. Right out of the gate, these books all get hyped up. And the hype, it's almost impossible for books to live up to the hype. So they'll always come out of the gate really high up, or if it's a movie news or something like that, really high up. And then it just slowly drops because it's almost impossible to sustain how much hype it is. So they're probably, oh, it's a new book, first appearance of the character, this is a TV show, blah, blah, all that stuff. And so it hypes it up. So even when the TV show did come out, even the TV show was great, you'd need multiple, multiple seasons. So you're really, it's almost like gambling at this point where you're like hoping everything goes right. It's not like she didn't exist 
not that long ago. It's not like you're collecting Spider-Man. You're getting Amazing Fantasy 15. Where it's, okay, what do we got? We got a track record. This has no track record. Modern comic books have no track record. That's why it's almost like gambling. You're And you're believing all the FOMO that's coming around from, you know, different sources. Usually it's from DC or Marvel trying to pump their book or the artist and creator. And, you know, nothing against them trying to push their own book, but... Most of, these, most of these modern books will never live up to the hype, ever, ever, ever. And most of these characters, even if they're great or whatever, they get thrown aside and they never really do anything with them because most of the time the people, the artists and the creators that create this, create it and then they move on to another book. And then the new person that's picking up this book, they don't want to push their not own created character because they don't get any money for that. So... Just remember all that stuff. It's the hype in the beginning of when a comic book is released is always going to be the biggest. Rarely ever does it go straight up from the hype and then continue to go up. Most of the time it goes straight up and then just starts going down. Next, we got Edge of Spider-Verse number two. A 9.4 is down 44% from 800 to 450. A 9.6 is down 74% from 13.95 to 361. And a 9.8 is down 61% from 2,500, now selling for 9.83. You can kind of see this on the graph where it's like it gets a comic boom, starts going down. And then Edge of the Spider-Verse 2 gets announced and starts going up again. And then it starts going down. Um, in the end, when you look at a book like this, um, as you can see, Right out of the gate when this was released in 2014, you know, it's a slowly coming along, gaining speed as this character slowly gets more popular, popping up in every, every little different book here and there. And then obviously Spider-Verse comes out, you get a boost, and then, you know, another boost for number two. These movies will give it an initial boost and they will get higher, like really, really high. But then the FOMO will settle. But it will always be higher than it was before the movie announcement or whatever. So if it's coming along, say it's like, just to give you an example, say it's like 100 bucks and it's been trending at $100 for the last couple of years, a little, you know, maybe going up to 125, 150 or something like that. But for years, it's been around there. Then it gets a boost and goes all the way up to like 450 or $500 when this movie comes out or whatever it is, and then it starts going down. When it flatlines after that movie is said and done, if the movie is good and the character is good and the character continues to be used, it should be higher than that 125, 150. It won't be as high as that 450. So unlike Naomi, which was a terrible character and doesn't really have a track record, this one has a track record for almost 10 years. That's a much bigger track record. And that character was on the CW, which is a terrible show that got canceled. This character has not only been popping up in lots of different comic books, so it's got the popularity there. Like you got the comic community making it bigger and bigger and bigger because, you know, it's popping in maybe into... Uh, a Deadpool comic book, then a Spider-Man comic book, and then, you know, I don't know, maybe a whole comic book. I really don't know. But popping up in different comic books, having their having her own line here and there, so it's it's getting bigger. And then on top of that, you add in a, a successful movie, and now you have movie number two. That's how comic books grow. Naomi, exact opposite. <laughs> yeah, like, wasn't a very good character to begin with, wasn't popping up in anything else. This all on movie news gets, of course, to the CW, so that's going to be a terrible show. Terrible show happens, it gets canceled, and then everyone's like, what? That all those people only bought it because of the hype of what it could be. They're not buying it because of the character and because they like the character. They're not buying it because it's like, oh, I read, you know, uh, some Deadpool car uh, comic book, and, you know, and um, Spider Gwen was in it and all this kind of stuff, and, and I really like the character, so I'll circle back to Edge of Spider Verse 2. Akira, number one. A 9.4 is down 65% from 225 to 79. A 9.6 is down 50% from 401 to 200. And a 9.8 is down 58% from 1250 to 529. Um, I started to watch Akira years and years and years ago, and I never finished it. Uh, a lot of people say it's really, really great and groundbreaking, and I'm sure it is all those things. Uh, but I don't know. So it's like one of those things where if you don't watch something, listen to something, whatever it is, form of art, when it's new at the time, if it's groundbreaking, it's not groundbreaking by the time everyone's done a rendition of it and, or like copied from it or, you know, all that kind of stuff. So by the time I, for example, they introduced like a lot of different art styles and unique things, which was great. But by the time, I, that was in the 80s. By the time I saw it in like, I don't know, five, 10 years ago or whatever, all those things that made it unique and great 
have all been redone a million different times by different artists and things like that. So by the time I see it, I've already seen it a thousand times. And so it's not unique and, and innovated to me. It's the same with music. It's like, oh, this, this band was like the first to ever use, you know, a pedal on a guitar tone. And it's like, well, I've already listened to tons of music that's already used that stuff. So by the time I listen to that band, it's just like, eh. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's not unique or creative to me. So it's one of those things. Uh, nonetheless, I'm also, I like anime, but not like a huge anime person. So I really can't speak much about this book. I just know it's a huge, huge anime, uh, which I've seen like half of it. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, I really don't know what to say about this book. I, don't, I couldn't tell you if this book is going to go up or down or what's going to happen to it. I know that there was Leonardo DiCaprio wanted to make a movie out of this and it never got done. But I will tell you this, a movie will get made from this. Um, I think they did The Ghost in the Shell, which I saw. I saw the original anime when I was new. Um, or not new, but fairly new. And then I saw the remake movie version, and it was okay. But I think that's kind of put the nail in the coffin for them doing Akira, because that movie didn't do very well. So... I don't know. I think um, it will get eventually made. There's going to be someone out there that will want to make it. That will have, you know, give it another 10 years or so when the generation that watched this movie uh, now is in charge of a bunch of things. All right. Dark Knight Returns, number one. A 9.4 is down 26% from 300 to 220. A 9.6 down 38% from 495 to 309. And a 9.8 is down 63% from about 3,000. Now selling for 1,100. Oof. Yeah. I mean, the 9.6 is 9.4. It's not that bad. Like a 9.4 from its peak going from uh, down 26%. That's nothing. That's nothing. Like, you have to understand, these are from the peaks to what they're currently selling for. So 26%. No, that's not bad at all. Uh, 38% from the 9.6, not bad at all, but the 9.8, mm, 3,000 to 1,100, that's quite bad. And here's the thing, it's like, I mean, obviously when it was happening, no one knew it was happening. Uh, I'm talking about the comic boom, and it's just literally, you can look at this graph, it just goes, da, 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 boom, straight up, literally in one or two months. I don't even know how that happened. Like, how could it go up so much within like two, like it's like two months, it goes up by three times. Like more than three times for this book. It went up almost four times in two months. Like I, because I know, like a lot of people ask me, it's like when I say these numbers, they're like, where do you get these numbers? I can't find books that cheap or whatever. And there's a difference. These are actually sold. This is what people are actually paying. These are actually sold prices. These are not what people are offering the book for. This is what's sold for. So it could be a buy now or it could be an auction. And a lot of times you can look. I mean, you could probably go on here and you can see some person um, decides to put a 9.4 of this book and they want $800 for it when it's never even sold for $800 for a 9.4, I'm talking, not a 9.8. You could probably find someone on there put a 9.8 up there for like five grand or something like that. And it was, that's not really going to sell. That's not going to sell. So I'm assuming during this too much, two month boom, uh, you know, they'll have like five or 10 up there that will be in nine eights. And then every single one of them gets bought. And so then people will start listing at more and more ridiculous prices. It's, I don't, I just don't, how could it jump up so much? Like, think about it. Going from like, before it was probably selling for like 800 bucks to 3,000. It just seems insane to me. Like, I, I just can't. Like, I remember living through it, obviously, but I can't really, I mean, I, I know for a fact, because I keep records of everything, that my stuff was selling a ton. I sold a ton of stuff in 2021, but I always priced my stuff very fair market value. So the stuff that was sitting was the stuff that where it's like, oh, okay, this sells for 3,000. Okay, then let me put up the book for 3,000. By the time I put it up, you know, a couple months have passed, and now the book's selling for, you know, instead of 3,000, selling for like... 2500 but i didn't know that because no sales had happened so the last sale will be 3000 so i'll put it up for like say 3000 or a little higher than 3000 and then you know no one really wants to buy it at the price and then the next sale price is like 2500 so you're like okay i'll lower that price 
but then you don't realize by the time you lower it, it's already been lowering. It's like, like, look, it's dropping by 63%. Um, I still think this is a good book. I don't think it's a good book at 3000. <laughs> Do I think it's a good book at 1100? It's been trading sideways for the past six, four, six months. Do I think this is a good book at 1100? Do I think this is a good book at 1100? It's been trading sideways for the past four or six months, meaning it's about the same. Been trading for about the same. By trading, I mean selling. Um, it's hard to say. I honestly think that the worst is behind us for all comic books and dropping. And what do I mean by the worst behind us? I mean, it's dropped by, you know, some of these books have dropped like 93% and stuff like that. Like, it's not going to drop another 93%. Books that like this one, it's dropped by 63%. It's not going to drop by another 63%. So the worst is behind us. Um, do I think? It's a tough one. 1100. Like, I'm, I'm talking like now. I think this book will go up eventually. But do I think it can drop a little more is basically what you're asking. I think it could. I think it could drop around the 900 range. But I think that will be the lowest it will go for a 9.8. And what I mean lowest, would one sell for 8.50? Yeah, of course. But I think like the average would be around 900. So I think it could drop a little more. Um, not much more. And it also depends on what's going on with the world. Uh, if the economy is crappy and people are losing their jobs, I mean, between eating and buying, you know, a Batman comic book, starving to death, Dark Knight Returns, starving to death, Dark Knight Returns. I think I'm going to have to go with uh, eating. So, yeah, really all depends. All right, last book on here, Marvel Spotlight number two, first appearance of Werewolf by Night. A 5.5 five is down 52% from about 700 to 332. An 8.0 is down 59% from 1400 to 577. And a 9.4 is down 52% from about 5100, now selling for 2472. Uh, yeah, so like, like it's most of these on here, uh, you guys request. So if you put in the comments down below and you want me to do analysis on them and show you what's going on, I will put them either going up or going down. Uh, one person asked, I mean, some people ask on like these videos going down and I look at it, it's actually going up. So now I write a little note. And so when I do the going up ones, you know, I'll go on that. Or they ask, is this one going up? And it's actually going down. So this one was someone asked me, just like most of the other ones. Um, most of these prices were topping out in 2022, end of 2022. That's when the Werewolf by Night, whatever it was, a holiday special or I don't know, whatever it's called on the one shot thing that came out. Um, I don't see Werewolf by Night coming in anything. Maybe in the Blade movie. Like if we get a Blade sequel, we'll see something like that. Possibly. Um, even though he hunts vampires. But I guess, you know, vampires, werewolves. They're basically the same. Not the same as they're not the same. But like, I feel like they just belong together in their own group. Maybe because they're always in movies together. and All sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, so maybe a Blade movie, if Blade does well, but the current state to MCU minus Guardians 3, the more I thought about it, the more I liked it. And I, I gave it a positive review, but I've liked it more since then. I still don't really like the first third, the first act. Um, so I don't know. I, th I think it was overinflated because the movie hype, TV show hype, which you know, you know who's to blame for that, for all the movie hype and TV hype and all that kind of stuff. It's you. You guys are out there buying these books and buying at super high prices, which pushes the average higher and higher and higher, and which makes it go down and down and down. So you can't blame me. <laughs> like you can't blame Marvel for coming out with these movies. It's it's you guys. You guys are buying the ones buying the books at these prices for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, if you want them, buy them. It doesn't matter. It's just money in the end. If, if this makes you happy, it makes you happy. It's worth better than money, I guess, uh, depending on what makes you happy and what you want. So, uh, but don't get mad when people buy a bunch of them and it goes really high and then it falls down because, yeah. What you want is steady growth over time. You don't want this quick thing. No, no, no. People have gotten so used to this, like, 
cryptocurrency nft bs stuff where you know it's like it went up ten thousand percent overnight and then that's not realistic you want a nice easy five to ten percent return year over year that's what you want that's what you want something like that is good because five to ten percent it's beating inflation your money is going up that's what you want obviously it'd be great if it's like 20 or 30 percent but even if you look at like before the boom i think i was doing it like even like action ones fans 15 hulk 181s before the comic boom they were just averaging like anywhere from 10 to 20 percent a year so i mean it's hard to average you know let's go back to 19 you know 45 and how much was it averaging that year but over the course of you know since the gpa was around uh that's what it was averaging so like 2004 you know say 2014 something like that it was averaging you know 10 20 maybe 30 percent a year so that's what you want that's what you want you don't want these uh, big spikes because the bigger the spike the more it's going to crash have a good day